you trust their guys, um, you're gonna get a lot of different looks. You know, they got a really good team. Linebackers fly around, a lot of fast linebackers. So, um, you know, they do a good job making sure they don't have any mismatches on the field. You know, they got a lot of speed to match what offenses do nowadays, and um, they got a good scheme. Yeah, man, I grew up, you know, in some big rivalries in high school and college, and, and um, you know, in the NFL, I, I feel like we have Dolphins and Buffalo and the Patriots, you know. So this, it's cool to be in the same city, city as them and, and play against them, but the reality is we root for them, you know, except for when they're playing us, you know. And, uh, yeah, man, you know, we know a lot of them guys. You see them around the town, and, and uh, this will be a cool, you know, experience. We'll, we'll uh, go at it for, you know, three hours, and, and after you'll be able to chop it up after and know that, you know. For the city, for sure. So it's kind of like a brotherly type of relationship. Kind of uh, like you know, I don't want to say it's brotherly, but but you know, it's 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 not a robbery. I wouldn't say you know this is for our fans because we want to give them the bragging rights. But I wouldn't say it's a it's a robbery. You know. Is it uh, going to be weird? It's going to be weird to be on the, the other sideline in your home stadium. Oh, I ain't even think about it. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. You know, that's where we were last uh, in the preseason. It'll, it'll be all right. Yeah. yeah, it'll be cool. You know, you can't. Okay. You don't think about it too much. <laughs> Me and Wondell trained, uh, trained in college together. We went to a lot of camps together growing up. Um, in high school, you know, when, when you're getting recruited, you kind of end up at the same things. I'm trying to remember. I, I feel like Lawrence Cager. Um, I mean, I, I know it's more, but I just <laughs> I'm leaving some on the table. But, um, yeah, man, they got a good group, group, good group of guys. And, and uh, you know, it's cool to play against your dogs. You know, it's always cool. So, yeah, I mean, it all it all um, starts on first and second down. And we know that third down has, has been a problem for us. Uh, so we've been attacking how to put us up in a better situation on first and second. Um, you know, we've been in a lot of tough situations that, that any team in the NFL would be, you know, towards the bottom of the league if you're trying to convert third and 11, third and 10. So, um, yeah, man, that's that's. You know the what we were focused on, how we can get away get away from the self inflicted wounds, and, and make sure that we're not in those third and longs, so that we convert at a higher clip. You know. How was the basketball game the other night? It was great, except for they lost. It was good though. Yeah, it was good vibes. Uh, first game, I'm, I'll probably go to a few this year, so I'm excited, man. You know, I feel like they got a good team, and excited to see how it shakes up. So now, now you're a Knicks guy. Yeah, I've always been one, man. I've been one for since for a while, like since I was like 12. I don't know, ever since uh. When they made the playoffs, I think that was 2008. They made the playoffs. It's probably been like 15 years now. I've been a Knicks fan. I love Melo growing up.